Last time on the Victory Garden, you know it is the Victory Garden, we had mustard growing in between these rows. Four rows of mustard seed. Caution. Wear like jeans or sweatpants, gloves, and maybe even a hazmat suit when dealing with mustard. When you cut it out, it's going to release oils that can burn your skin. Give a little temporary rosacea, whatever you call that thing. It definitely burns. Get near your eyes, get real bad. I mean, they used to use it in World War I, turn it into a gas. Mustard gas, I mean. But it supposedly puts something in the soil that you know, deters diseases and pests like uh, wire worms, which are an intense pests for like potatoes over there. Of course, it was in between the rows, so where did they go? They go all to, to the potatoes. They are a problem back there. Not so much there as much as some other parts of the yard. We got four rows of potatoes, all different varieties. And, uh, they arrived late. This is June 1st, and uh, I forget when I put them in. <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it was May. It had to be May. And I put them all in and see how they do. Out here, we've got volunteer potatoes that I haven't plucked out yet in sunflowers extremely large ones tapered off to the front I just watered them so they all knocked down here's the key with sunflowers milk bill strong bones okay it's too expensive to give them milk you can give them bone meal just mix it up in a watering can give them that or just put it on the surface teaspoons or whatever and uh, they will love it and will make them strong where you don't have to support them their limbs will be, their limbs, their stalks will be so strong, they won't fall over. This is going to look incredible come like uh, September. Over here, is, we need some weeding. <laughs> we didn't get any mulch in time. There are sunflowers all over the place. There's also uh, borage in there, which is very prolific. That's what you're mostly seeing. There's there's herbs like uh, right there is uh, what we call spearmint and uh, sage. Some reason, some reason, hairy vetch likes to go everywhere. There's a huge chive, and uh, behind him is bee balm. Same thing over here. This is just packed with weeds. Haven't taken all the weeds out yet, but this is a flower bed right now. It will look spectacular. Here's another cheap way to make a little garden, a patio garden. I've, I'm testing them to see how many I could fit in this area. They will be single spaced, I mean single, uh, trained up a single vine. And I'm gonna get some more bricks, at least like three layer I think. Rousing over here, got some tomatoes. One is uh, looking a little haggard. I wonder if it got hit by the pole when I twist the pole around. Got stabbed. Uh, he doesn't look too good over there. Got Samazanos in the back. Um, and in the uh, middle is you know, a variety of different ones. Some could be Samazanos. I think the smaller ones might be Samazano with daughters. Uh, some of the big ones, they could be, they could be anything, <laughs> like the ox uh, hot type ones. And then we got peppers. A lot of peppers, only spaced a foot apart. I'm going to try to see how, how that works. And uh, as you see, we're using a black, you know, garbage bag mulch. Not the one that's perfumed though. And uh, let's see how that works. Get it over here. We've got corn, and there's more of that cover crop I haven't turned under yet. 
I just mowed it. And got a couple rows of corn. Four rows of Stowell's Evergreen. And coming into here, this very sloppy ab abode, so I don't have a rototiller. Is going to be my pumpkin patch. You can see the hills all over the place. That's where I put the bodies. And uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen hills. <laughs> but this is an incredible thing back here. I started this in the house. It's a an iris. Look at it. You ever seen an iris that big? It's just this is the first time it has grown. I mean, not flowered. It never flowered. A little bit of swamp action here. I don't know if we can zoom in with our big lens, but that's incredible. That's really incredible. More little pumpkins. I'm not that good with the focus. Put some tomatoes back there. The whole area back there needs to be weed whacked. I mean, uh, brush whacked. Got poison ivy coming in. Got everything. What I'd really like is a rototiller. Actually, a tractor. That's what I really want. A tractor. I like one of those Grillo tractors, I think you call them. <laughs> Two wheel tractors. To turn all this over. Then I'd be happy. Still on and on. Got some strawberries that aren't doing too well. Over here it looks like weeds, and there probably is some weeds in there. And I can see ground ivy all over the place. The rest of them are wildflowers. Growing a dog over there. And we got peas in bloom. Mountain of peas. There you go, the Victory Garden, June 